question number two on solving logarithmic equations and checking for extraneous roots. So the function given to us is log to the base 4 of x minus 3 plus log to the base 4 of x plus 3 equals to 2. So let's combine these two terms using our product rule, right? So just log to the base 4 of x minus 3 times x plus 3, correct? And we can bring 2, uh, okay, let's keep it there only, to the po equals to 2. Now this could be written in exponential form, and that is x minus 3 times x plus 3 is equals to 4 to the power of 2, correct? Which is 16, correct? Which is 16. So let's bring all the terms together, and that forms a quadratic equation, and let's solve the quadratic equation. So x minus 3 times x plus 3 will be x squared minus 9 and we'll bring well it is x squared minus 9 let's keep 16 on the right side itself so we get x minus 9 equals to 16 or x squared equals to 16 plus 9 which is 25 correct and here we can square root 25 to get the answer so x is plus and minus 5 or rather 25 square root which gives us plus and minus 5 so we get two answers. One is plus 5 and the other is minus 5. Now let's check for the extraneous root. Extraneous roots are roots which are not within the domain of our function, right, and which will not satisfy the equation. So these are possible answers, right? So when I write plus 5, what do I get? So plus 5 gives me 2 here and 8 here, so that is within the domain, that's fine. But if I plug in minus 5, then I get minus 8. Now the domain is greater than 3 here, right? Or minus 3 here. So ultimate domain is x should be greater than 3. So anything which is less than 3 is not a part of our solution, right? So we get an extraneous root. And our extraneous root is at x equals to minus 5. And the real solution is at x equals to plus 5, right? So that is the real solution for the given equation, okay? Thank you.